HBO is knocking it out of the park with their series of true crime documentaries. The case of Garrett Phillips will frustrate you and probably have you yelling at your TV. So in 2011, a 12-year-old boy in upstate New York is murdered inside his house. And the documentary follows the investigation and then the trial that ensues. Parts of this documentary remind me of the Netflix original, When They See Us. I mean, it is sickening and maddening. Something that the, the series itself is doing a really good job of, and they do it well in this episode as well, is that they interview a lot of people and they get some well-rounded, they get as many people as they can to be interviewed from both sides of the case. And so it's really good to see that because it gives us just in-depth view of what's going on. Now, obviously not everybody agrees to be interviewed. And a lot of the time, the victim's family, they just opt out of that. But sometimes we do get maybe not the, the mom or the dad or the brother or the sister, but we do get an aunt or an uncle and they provide some really good insight as well. And so with all of these interviews, it is interesting to hear their points of view and to see what they say but it's gonna probably make you irate at some points, especially with some of the things that come out of investigators' mouths or out of prosecution's mouth or out of the lawyers or even out of witnesses or just acquaintances. Now, the beautiful thing that can come from documentaries, especially in a series like this HBO true crime documentary, is that it makes us all aware. It shines light on injustice and at times can even affect laws. My suspicion is that while you're watching this, you're gonna have a suspect in mind, as did we. So I'm really curious if we come to the same conclusion on the perpetrator. And like several of these HBO true crime documentaries, you may leave the episode or the, the show more frustrated than when you began but it could spur you on to do more research on your own. Who Killed Garrett Phillips is a great watch, but it is heartbreaking to see, and it is maddening, and it is frustrating. And like I said at the beginning, you may yell at your TV some because we found ourselves doing that because of some of the actions, some of the words, some of just what I felt should have happened or a question that should have been asked or something that should have been pointed out that just didn't or wasn't. There's no sex, but there is nudity, profanity, and violent imagery. I give Who Killed Garrett Phillips four out of five couches. Please recommend a good crime drama for me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.